Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. Our goals for today's episode is to go ahead and build the thorium reactor, which is right here. And we've got it researched, and we have all the materials. We will be installing that so we can jump to the next system, which is uh, supposedly very far, very far away. And our ancestors, our Meeple ancestors, might be living there. Uh, so join me as we do that. So let's hop on down here, and I'm just going to go ahead and plop the thorium reactor right right, uh, right there. Looks pretty good. And our uh, friend Hacksaw, I think, uh, will come and build that for us. So let's get a nice zoomed-in view as he builds that. And there we go. We have our thorium reactor, and we're ready to head into uncharted territory. The thorium reactor is online, Captain. Engineering did a fine job integrating it into the power system. As we were as prepared as we're going to be for Sinfo, course is set. We can engage the superliminal travel on your order, sir. Thank you, Feather. So if you remember from the previous episode, they were saying the Sinfo, and I'm probably mispronouncing that, is most likely where our ancestors have fled to. Um, they were doing experiments here in the Irmo system, and potentially the dregs, the aliens that have been attacking us and we captured one of their space stations, are some sort of mutated form of us, uh, similar to elves in the Lord of the Rings series that um, Sauron corrupted the elves to create orcs. So it looks like Hacksaw is connecting our thorium reactor, and there we go. So we are ready to jump. Let's go ahead and trade with whoever this is rolling in. We're going to deny that. Um, let's see, is there anything good we want to buy? We'll buy that one lavish meal, we'll buy a little fish off them, and then maybe we can sell some titanium ore, because we don't need that much. Let's also sell our biomass, get rid of that. Alright, so I think we are ready to jump into the next system and see if we can discover our ancestors. I'm assuming there's going to be dregs there as well. So let's see what happens when we the jarge should be tried up. It is ready to go. And let's go ahead and initiate the hyper jump. And away we go. Act four. We are cruising right along in this campaign. Down below in the comments, let me know if you are playing Meeple Station, how your station is going. If you've had any embarrassing moments, you know, maybe you forgot to put an airlock in and all the air got sucked out of your space station and everyone died. All right, Feather is back. We've dropped out of the superluminal on target. SI drive has been safely powered down. Wow, quite a sight. It's beautiful. I always wanted to see a nebula up close. That's right. So we were jumping into a nebula. So our solar panel isn't going to work. So that's why we built the uh, thorium reactor. You see what I'm seeing, Feather? Yes, sir. There are structures in proximity to the station. They look like some kind of ruins. They do. They're strange, though. It's like something you've built outdoors not in the vacuum of space there definitely don't look like something that could hold an atmosphere in unless i'm really missing something yeah it's kind of peculiar engineering reports a 90 percent reduction in our solar efficiency it's a good thing we got the thorium reactor set up we can keep an eye on the power and build more if we need to very good thank you well i suppose we should have a look around then yeah let's get some scouts out and about Okay, so let's just take a quick peek at our power, 295. Do, do, do. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape. Do we have some new research? We got education and efficiency four. Let's go ahead and get them working on education. I'm assuming there'll be other researches popping up. Oh, and there are quite a few structures around us. Um, let's go up a couple levels here. Here we go. So we can see these are just labeled as space ruins. All right, and some meteors with ores and whatnot yeah that's pretty cool some more space ruins there that one's really neat it kind of has like this platform here yeah all right so let's uh let's get back down to our station space station on the lower levels here all right and they uh they made the jump with us too let's go ahead and get tooth bud and trout assigned back to being miners i had to take them off miners just because if they're outside, when we jump, we do lose them. Mr. Science was put as a chef, so we'll put him back to science. So now Mr. Science and Halibut will be doing quite a bit of research for us. See, our objective is explore the Sinifu system. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get a guard on the ship with Marimba. Um, and we'll take Swordfish with us. We also picked up another guard uh, off camera, Chopstick, um, just so you guys know. And once Swordfish is on there, let's hop to our map. And there, ooh, there's quite a bit of stuff. And I like the background, very, very colorful. So that's fantastic. Some meteors shooting around in the background. Um, let's go to this one. This one looks pretty cool. It's in our system. So we'll go ahead and scout, and away they go. And the squids came with us as well. So there is an overview of our station And this. I love the background. I like the purples and the blues. One other thing I started to do off screen, um, do you guys saw the medical bay? And I went ahead and put another floor up here. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to also turn this into a bedroom wing. So we'll probably start expanding out. Uh, one of these ways. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and pick up Boolean as another guard. Uh, we'll have to make sure we get him assigned to a bedroom here pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and accept him. And just to be sure that he gets a bed, let's go ahead and go to furniture. And we're going to go heavy bed. And let's just plop one run down right here. And then let's also... Oop, uh, scout ship wreckage of Albatross scoured through... Um, looks like they only found some materials to bring home. That's okay. That is better than nothing. We'll let them come on back. Um, so I used heavy haul up here, at least for the main sector, because it is resistant to meteors and other projectiles, aka bombings from the dregs. Um, but we don't have a lot of, um, titanium, so we're still going to keep using aluminum at least to start. So let's go ahead and build our first set of bedrooms and a three by three there. And then a three by three there. And we'll just go ahead and build that hallway out. And that will be the first uh, set of two bedrooms up here. Ooh, royal. Probably because of the size and space. So let's go ahead and assign quarters. And we'll give that to Boolean for now. And then let's hop back on down. So Hacksaw will get up there and start building that for us. They are already back. Let's go ahead and offload. Looks like they got a little bit of aluminum, a little bit of steel, some electronics and battery cells. And that was about it. All right, let's go ahead and launch them out again. And let's go ahead and scout A-C4, because there's something floating around that. And away they go. While they're doing that, we're going to go ahead and trade over here. Once they dock, another guard. Um, we'll go ahead and deny that one. Let's see what they have to trade. Sell off our biomass. We'll buy their fish and lavish meals. And let's we'll sell them a little bit of titanium ore, a little bit of iron ore, a little bit of aluminum ore, and some carbon. Let's make sure, because I don't think I marked any place for our guys to mine. Let's see, feldspar, magnetic, ice, magnetic. All right, they can go ahead and mine that if they want. So we can start to get some resources from here. Let's hop out to the map. So we already kind of looked at this system. We'll start by going to the left. I see some space junk floating around here, some more space junk over here, and here's the star, so let's go back the other way. We need to figure out where our ancestors are at, so there's the Lokov Initiative. This is us around the main planet. We've scouted that. There is Pickle and Pickaxe, so now we're just looking for VAS, which I'm assuming is that one. Okay. All right. Uh, space debris around this one and maybe the main planet or this one okay still no ancient civilizations now this might be a hospitable world a dash e looks like it's got some water maybe on it and definitely some green but that doesn't mean anything some more space junk what do we got over here nothing's uh shouting where our ancestors are at so we'll just have to keep exploring and eventually we'll find them so let's check in on the albatross, and there it goes. It's just finding stuff. All right, so they will come on back, and we do appreciate all the work that Marimba and Swordfish are doing for our little colony. How are we doing on power? We've got 300 kilowatts, about 300 kilowatts stored up. Got plenty of advanced electricity, so I think we're in pretty good shape there. And they are already rolling back in. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and offload the stuff they found. All right, and then we will send them back out into the wild blue yonder. And let's start by scouting A-B. And away they go. Another planet to explore. 
research is chugging along nicely, about 145 out of 500 for Education 5. Let's check on Hacksaw up here. We've got quite a bit of built of the new bedroom, so that's, that's exciting. And we're going to deny Hero because we don't have enough bedrooms. So I think we need to get some more bedrooms built here soon so we can definitely start increasing the size of our station and get some more meeples on here. Uh, again, if you like the video series I'm doing on Meeple Station, please don't forget to like this video. Comment on down below on your Meeple Station, how it's going, uh, what you think of my videos, you know, video quality, audio quality, commentary quality. Let me become the best commentator, best content creator I can become. And the only way I do that is by getting feedback from you guys, and I do appreciate it. I know we are small, but I am hoping to continue to grow this channel. And start playing new games. Uh, I know in the last one, I think the next one we're going to play, next new one, uh, is Hydraneer. So we'll probably start playing that. Hopefully we get some new people involved in the channel because that would be fantastic. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. All right, Marimba, a leap in the dark station. This is the Albatross. Go ahead, the Albatross. I found a large structure in orbit of Sinifu A-B, Captain. Science Wing is definitely going to want to come check this out. Large structure? It almost looks like a giant temple or something. There's strange writing all over. Okay, grab some scans and come home. Time to shuttle some scientists. Will do, Cap. Choose the crew for the research expedition. I'll inform the Science Wing, sir. All right, thank you, Feather. So we will wait for the Albatross to get on back, and then we will be sending Mr. Science out there to explore the system so let's go ahead and just take a peek here and see if we can i'm assuming it's that hunk of junk floating around there so that will be pretty cool once they roll on in we'll get swordfish off and put mr science on there and we will explore that temple another trade ship rolling in let's see what they have to offer here uh engineer and pilot virtual intentions Deny that for now, but hopefully as we get some more bedrooms built here, we'll be able to take more people on board. Buy some fish, buy a lavish meal. Uh, da, 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 da. I think that's pretty good, and we'll leave that at that. Check our storage. We've still got quite a bit of storage. And they are rolling back in, and they are docked, so we will take swordfish off. And then let's go ahead and add Mr. Science onto the crew so he can... Head on over and do a little exploring for us. So let's go ahead and make sure we assign Swordfish a bedroom. This is the one thing I don't like about Meeple Station so far is that when people come on and off ships, they do lose access to their bedroom, and that, that's kind of frustrating because then i got to go find a bedroom, click on the bed, get them assigned. Uh, not that it's game-breaking or anything. It's just, like I said, slightly frustrating. All right, so let's go ahead and launch, and we're going to send them back out here to scout that. And away they go. All right, the bedrooms are about ready to go, so let's go ahead and start setting those up. And we're going to go just like this, so they can come build that. And then some doors. A door there, and a door there. Um, now, did I put airlocks on these? Yes, I did. So let's go ahead and put airlock doors, or excuse me, bulkhead doors here. And we'll slap a bulkhead door down there. And then we're going to need a little air vent, and we'll drop that right there. So we start pumping some air in, which then means we need to hook that up to oxygen. Um, deny. So let's go ahead and bring this over like that, and then bring that down like that, and plop that there. So we'll have some airflow into this section. Then we need to go ahead and put the beds and furniture and whatnot in. So let's go... Down to heavy bed made from titanium. Oops, I was already facing the wrong way. So we'll plop one there. And plop one there. And then we'll give them a nice dresser. Plop that there. That there. And then, of course, a nice green plant right next to the door. And then a lamp to finish off the room in the corner there. Oops. All right. So it's the Agmatic Temple. Good day, Captain Toothbud Commanding Feather. Good day to you, Mr. Science. How did the expedition go? Fantastically, Captain. Captain, The temple, as we're calling it, is quite magnificent. What did you find out in your research there, Mr. Science? Well, sir, there's a lot going on here. The entire structure is covered in strange writing. We've managed to correlate similarities with ancient Meeple 
but there are many divergences from Mipolis that aren't clearly translatable. We're not sure how long our ancestors were here in Sinifu, but it would appear long enough for the language to diverge significantly from what its origins in Cryic. Can we understand it? Not fully, but in many places, it would seem enough to get the gist. The temple is much more than meets the eye. Its surface is somewhat of a facade that hides some incredibly advanced technology. Incredibly advanced, sir. As in, we haven't been able to ascertain the purpose or function of several of the devices we found in there, sir, at all. Huh. That's interesting. Do we have an idea what the purpose of the temple is? From what little we can directly translate of the writings and infer from context, the temple seems to be means of communicating within our ancestry, roughly. So our ancestors are still out there. It would seem so, Captain. Though when the temple was last used as anyone's guess, there seems to be large portions of text also devoted to Dr. Wakuyu, which if you remember was the gentleman that was doing the scientific experience, experiments that he was against uh, that led to the dregs after the Meeple government, Meeple people, decided they still wanted to move forward to try and prove their body to living in space. Uh, it has an oddly revert, reverent tone to it, much like the architecture the temple itself does. It would seem that Dr. Wakayu ended up making good on his determination to save our ancestors. We can't derive the means in which he did so, but the way the writing speaks of him, it would seem he succeeded in some manner. Intriguing, intriguing indeed. Can we make use of this device, Mr. Science? We think we understand how to operate the device, but the device lost power untold years ago, unfortunately. There is mention of this possibility occurring in the future that goes on to explain how the device is fueled using an exotic element previously unknown to us. We can't translate the name directly, though it's fairly arbitrary anyways. What we do know, more importantly, are its properties. So what are we looking for? If this is wood, I'm going to crap a brick. The element that is described has an atomic number of 115. We know its mass, the electron configuration, and enough of its chemical properties to partially identify it. We do have an element 115 on our periodic table, very, very rarely synthesized, synthesized it in a few times as part of some cutting-edge heavy elements research back on Savin. What we made was fantastically unstable and only existed for a few seconds before decaying into something more stable, though. That sounds discouraging. Well, the element 115 described in the temple is stable isotope of 115 that were never seen before. Apparently, that's why all this is here in Sinifu. The element is present here naturally, but some circumstances of the stellar history of this region within the nebula we don't fully comprehend. It's here and we know what to look for then. Yes, Captain, the science wing can calibrate the scanners on the scout ship to detect element 115 now that we know precisely what to look for. Should we look? Should we be looking anywhere specific? That we don't know, only that it's here in Sinifu. How much of this element 15 do we need exactly? The device requires 100 kilograms of element 115 to function. Once refueled though, it should remain functional for quite some time. All right, we have some work to do then. Great work, Mr. Science. Send my thanks along. Indeed, Captain, I will. Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm guessing we will need to go fine and then mine some element 115. Collect 100 units of element 115. All right, so let's uh, let's see if it's popped up anywhere on our map here, uh, which I doubt it will. Oh, no, okay, 10% there. Uh, nothing detected there. So what we can do is probably just load up Toothbud and another miner and send them out here and go ahead and mine 100 units of element 115 once the albatross rolls back in. Let's see how far out they are. Another 50 seconds or so, and then we'll send them out there. All right, let's go check on our bedrooms. Haxel needs to build these last two walls so we can put the lamps in. And we will also go ahead and tear down, salvage this bed here. I don't know what he's doing. He's just walking around, enjoying the sights. And we will also need to put carpet down in these rooms, which I probably should have done in the first place. So let's go ahead and go red carpet there and blue carpet here and we're going to deny that and let's go ahead and make sure we get boolean assigned to a bed sign quarters boolean okay it's not letting me do that can we assign them to this one maybe 
Get out of the way, Hacksaw. Assign quarters, Boolean. Still not letting me assign him to either of these rooms. Exceptional. Assign quarters. There we go. So Boolean now has his own room. Fantastic. That is what we need. The Albatross is back. So Mr. Science, go ahead and disembark. And then let's um, go ahead and get Toothbud and Trout on board. We got to make sure we load them up with some simple meals. We will send them with uh, 100, 110, I guess. Uh, and then we will get them over to the planet there and start uh, mining element 115. And that will be a, a nice little boon for us. Hacksaw's almost got this all built. So that's good. Only 97% oxygen over here. Might need to throw down another air vent. So once he gets this all built. Oh, he hasn't built this air vent yet, I don't think. There we go. Now he's building that air vent. And then we can drop that there. And that's not hooked up. So let's go to the oxygen line and we'll plop that there. And we'll deny him for now. Because we need to make sure we get plenty of bedrooms built before we start increasing the number of meeples we got. All right, Toothbud and Trout are ready to go. So let's go ahead and send them over here to start mining element 115. And away they go. All right. And he's going to go ahead and build that for us. Just go ahead and install that, bud. Come on. All right, well, keep doing that. Let's go ahead and get the lamps put down. Here we go, a nice lamp. A lamp there. And a lamp there. And for whatever reason, they didn't put carpet there, but we'll have to put carpet down in a second. Taking his sweet, sweet time. Build, structures, blue carpet there and there and a piece of blue carpet there and that should be the the end of those two bedrooms so it's good to see that we are expanding our bedroom still haven't gotten to use our laser turrets a little disappointed in that we got to put all these big laser turrets up and those bombers never came back they must have got scared off especially after captured their one station uh we could also go ahead and start charging our SI drive for our next uh, jump. I'm assuming we'll have to make another jump. I don't know. We are on Act 4, but got to be closing this out soon. Not that I don't enjoy playing Meeple Station. Let's go ahead and deny that. All right. Let's check in on the ship. They are mining, and they have, uh, have they gotten, oh, they've gotten nine pieces of element 115. That's nice. So they'll keep doing that for us. Let's see. Hacksaw's just about finished building these bedrooms up here. Fantastic. So we got two more bedrooms built and ready to go. 100% oxygen over here now as well with that air vent. So let's go ahead and get him working on some more bedrooms over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's two, three, four, five. And then we'll do a three by three here. And then a three by three here. And another two bedrooms to be built by Hacksaw. About eh, a quarter of the way done charging the SI drive. So I think we'll go ahead and cut this episode here. I will see you guys when I get another 115 unit or 110, 100 units of element 115. There we go. Got the right number finally. Uh, so in this episode, we were able to jump, jump into the next system. We found that temple and we did a little bit of research. So we think it's a communication device with our ancestors. So don't forget to like the video down below, comment both on Meeple Station and the video quality, what you like about my commentary, what you don't like about my commentary. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.